Welcome back. We are continuing the restoration of our 8-bit ASR33 teletype. In the previous episode, we explained the mysteries of the printing head mechanism and got our special characters back alright. Everything was looking good for the receive demo until this happened. Return. And then the ratchet doesn't reset. And that's because there's a little tongue down here that broke and that's what's left of it. It broke. And this is the stupidest part ever. It's not the hardest to make, but it disables the whole machine. I think if, you, if I can unbend this, I'll make it up from that disc, disc tray, so it already has the holes by the same length. Doesn't need to be exact. Okay, not my proudest part, but it should be enough to work. Okay, I think we're now ready for the demo. I entered the text straight from the hieroglyphics and I put it on the tape and now if I rewind the tape here we go from left tape read Alright, so a few things. Well, it printed fine, decoded fine. It's not doing 80 columns for some reasons. Um, maybe it's not 80 columns. And then it misses a character. The first character is missed. But I think at 110 bars, you have to wait a bit before you send the next line. So I don't know. I have to, I have to slow it down so it has time to catch up at the end of the line. So according to the experiment here, it is 74 characters wide. And indeed, the Sprocket Fit Printer has a maximum line length of 72 characters. So I'm actually too long by two characters compared to what it's supposed to do. So that was my problem. My lines are just too long. So we'll try it again. I have reduced my line size to less than 72 and uh, I have added a non printable delete character at the beginning to give it a little bit of time on the first character and should all be ready to go. It's in remote from left tape read. like that. Okay, much better, uh, but it made three errors here. And I wonder if they are flukes or if they are real. So I see the problem happening in normal usage here with uh, carriage return. There you go, I typed the carriage return, it only moved a little bit. Can happen anywhere in the line. The ratchet's still in, it shouldn't be. It should have been out and made its way all the way. Uh, he's stuck now, that's another carriage return. There you go, I did it. There you go, stuck again. So I have an uh, unreal, unreliable carriage return. Something must be sluggish somewhere. I have to find what it is. Intermittent faults are the worst. 
I took some slow-mo footage to try to catch it in the act. This is a normal carriage return. Everything works as it should. Looking closer at the cams and it's good again. But I finally caught one on video quite clearly while filming the ratchet. The carriage return bale pushes the ratchet out as it should for a short while. Right here. But the bale fails to latch and the ratchet re-engages right away before the carriage return is completed. So it necessitates a deep dive into the hieroglyphics and we have the general description of the carriage return mechanism. Page 34. Flip away, Carl. Alright, okay, well we'll read the scriptures and let you know in a minute. Right yeah, so it's these pictures, you know, we think it's just, it's just not latching, right, it's, it, it's starting to do a return, then it, it's uh, going back into normal mode. We'll figure that out. So I finally got it. Uh, my lever here wasn't moving far enough and it's an adjustment that I didn't find mentioned anywhere but it's in the linkage that goes from you know, where it starts to where it finishes and it's that screw right here. This little guy had to be adjusted so it gave a little bit more movement to the lever and now everything is fine and dandy. Yeah, it looks like I finally fixed the receive section this time. I'll let you watch the whole test footage for ASMR or hypnotic value. Feel free to skip forward. See you in two minutes. No errors, I fixed it. Yeah. Okay, maybe not that ASMR actually. This uh, 110 baud machine is a little nervous wreck. But we're not quite done, we still need to check out the paper punch and the paper reader, which will surely lead to other adventures. No, this way. Hey, Alright, that, that didn't work so well. It's getting stuck in a punch. Alright, more work. <laughs> 